Hello, people of YouTube. Um, if you visit my channel regularly, you'll see, um, you'll have seen the little status message, uh, bulletin thing I posted, talking about the fact that my collection came down with mites, and that I wouldn't be making videos for a little while. Um, this video is about treating mites the all-natural way, and the way I consider the all-natural way is to treat mites with mites. As you can see, this is predatory mites the name of them here, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, they're just a tiny bit bigger than snake mites. This is not an actual size picture. In fact, that's like probably a couple thousand times the size that they actually are. They're very small, and you won't be able to see them at all in this video. But, as you can see, there's a container in there of all the soil. That's bed of beast soil. If you're not willing to change the entire bedding of your reptile to bed of beast or eco earth, then I recommend putting a container in there like that. This will allow the predatory mites to nest and breed and sprinkle the, the mixture that comes in this tube, sprinkle it all over in the inside of your tank. What, what they will do is the little predatory mites, which are just about the same size or a little tiny bit smaller than a flea, will start exploring the tank and if they come in contact with a snake mite, or a reptile mite, or any kind of mite, they'll attack and eat it. Um, this container here has 25,000 mites in it, um, and I put about 4 teaspoons in each container, which means there's a whole lot of mites in there. Um, I can actually see them from here crawling around, but it's impossible to see in here. So, only my ball python um, has actually, can you actually see mites on him? But I treated all my reptiles just in case. As you can see, the this already has bed of yeast, but um, so these little mites will live happily in here. Those are the scoops of the mixture. The little gecko is up here in that corner. My ball python, who has the worst of it, got him here. As you can see, I put the big scoops of the mixture just straight onto the paper towel substrate because uh, he used to have, as you know, um, aspen bedding, but I changed to this while I'm treating the mite. Here's his little container of soil. I recommend putting something like this, like this a paper piece of paper that dangles into the dirt and then a rock that holds it there so that way the mites can get easily in and out of the dirt container to breed. Um, they can climb glass, so you will have mites pretty much all over the room, although you probably won't see them. This is a good thing, though, because snake mites will be all over your room, and uh, if you have these mites around your room, then you won't have snake mites. Right there, let's see if I can point it out to you, right there is one of the mites on the water dish, but there's no way you'll be able to see it. Even if I zoom in, let's see. That. That right there, that little dot moving across is one of the predatory mites. There's many, 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 many of them in here. As you can see, he just sort of disappears. So you can still sort of see the movement. That's what a predatory mite is. Um, I think it's a really good way to treat mites. I have it in my bearded dragon tank as well, but I'm waiting till night time. There's the dirt I use as a hammock to keep uh, Stoey from getting into the dirt. Um, I'm going to put them in there at night because they can't really stand this high heat as big dragons have in their tank. You can order these mites online. Um, this, I ordered them, I don't remember what side I ordered them on, but I ordered them online. Um, here, let's see if you can see that container. You, uh, this container will last two weeks before the mites start to die. Um, never order them from a site that doesn't have PayPal. I suggest you get a PayPal account. They're free and it's the safest way to pay online. They are kind of expensive. Um, this one liter container cost, um, with shipping about forty some dollars. But if you think about it, it's kind of worth it not to have to expose your reptiles to harsh chemicals. And it's an all natural way of treating the mites. Um, zoom in on this again. Look up this name. Um, and do some research yourself to see what you think of it. I did some research and everybody that's used it, see they've, um, people who have arachnids and insects and stuff as pets use these to get rid of mites on them because you can't obviously use an insecticide since they are insects.
so it's just a really safe way of getting rid of mites, and um, I'm going to continue adding more mites, um, the good mites, every day until this container is gone, and then once they've, which will take probably a couple weeks, and once all of the, this stuff is gone, um, then I will get some reptile relief and um, prevent a mite, and I know it's like silly to use chemicals when I was trying not to use chemicals, but what I'm going to do is treat the tanks with preventamite and the snakes themselves with reptile relief um, just to get rid of the last little bits of any snake mites that might still be around. Um, and that way any eggs that these guys couldn't didn't eat that haven't hatched yet will be destroyed by the preventamite. But it's just a really good way of getting rid of mites. You want to be really careful with the container. You don't want to shake it up too much or damage the little boogers, but so, if you have any questions about these mites, um, about what site I got them on, because I can, I can post a link if you want it. Any questions about this, just post them, and I will get right back to you. Um, and I will also make another video update about how my mite situation is, and um, how these guys worked. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and um, comment and subscribe, and there will be more later. Thanks for watching! Hopefully you're just watching in case you have mites, not because you actually do have mites, because mites are really irritating. Thanks for watching. Um, I was going to say something and I forgot. Anyway, subscribe and I'll make more videos soon. Bye!